Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kelly. I am a physical therapist and certified lymphedema therapist. In September of 2021, I posted a video about negative pressure therapy and how it's used for lymphatic drainage as well as lymphedema and fibrosis. And I specifically talked about a tool called the LymphaTouch, but I did not have a visual for that tool. Today though, I do. And so today in this video, I'm gonna share a little bit more about what the LymphaTouch is, how it's used, how it can be used for lymphatic drainage to help decrease swelling and discomfort, how it can be used to help decrease scar tissue, and how it can be used to help decrease fibrosis for lymphedema. But before we begin, make sure that you subscribe down below and you can follow along with us on Instagram for more related content and education. So I recommend going to check out my other video on negative pressure therapy, which I'll link up above to get more of an idea of what negative pressure therapy really is. But to summarize it really quick, instead of compressing tissue, which we're used to doing for the lymphatics and lymphedema, this helps pick up basically the skin and the tissues right underneath to create less pressure inside. So we lift it away. Now there's more space in between those tissues and that fluid can then move through a little bit easier and more freely. So negative pressure therapy is a little bit of the opposite we've always done, but there is support that it can help mild to moderate lymphedema and swelling. So in this video, I'm gonna open up the LymphaTouch and show what it all comes with, what they're all used for. We're gonna show what the programs are like on the machine and then show the different techniques and how to actually use it for lymphatic drainage and fibrosis for lymphedema. So I have the LymphaTouch here and so what comes with it, we open it up. There are a couple different things. And so in the first pouch, it has the pamphlets and applications. So just instructions on how it's used, um, the manual, but also has specifically ones for um, rehabilitation applications. So thinking about kind of that scar tissue or orthopedic reasons, as well as it does have one for lymphatic reasons. So you can watch that. It also has little filters that you'll need to use with the suctions. And on the other side, we have the lymph the touch itself. So this is the size that it comes with. Here is the tubing. We have a plug to plug it in, which we'll do in a moment. And then this one has four different sections. I know they have different ones that someone can get based on what they may need them for. So the LymphaTouch has multiple different size heads. These are four of the five that they have. If we're looking at the small ones, these are great for small scars, small joint areas, the face, the head and neck. Same with the neck size up. It could also be used for the head and neck area or you know a small arm or around the ankle. As we get a little bit larger, these are nice for the full arm or even the lower leg into the back. And then the largest one's nice for the thigh and the back and just overall the full body. So we may use different sizes for each individual. We might focus on lymphatic drainage with the larger ones and then use the smaller ones if someone has a scar region or fibrosis and just these smaller crevices like around the tendons, around the knee or other areas such as around the ankle. So if we turn the LymphaTouch on, it will take a minute to load. And then when we get to the first page, it's gonna say contraindications. And so I know it's a little hard to read, it's very small print, but it talks about when you are unsafe to use this tool. And so the absolute meaning we do not use this at all if someone has a blood clot, acute infection such as cellulitis, congestive heart failure, kidney dysfunction, or other conditions which increase venous and lymphatic return is undesirable or unsafe. Relative contraindications on here are active cancer as well as pregnancy. So all of these things we wanna make sure that you're getting clearance before used. And if you have any of the above ones, we definitely will not use it either way. So as we move through, we wanna accept that or your therapist will accept that and move forward. And then we come to this page. And so we can just start if we know our settings, if we know 
what our protocol is that is something that we can do. So it says I don't have sport because I accidentally clicked that, but we can pick our own amount of pressure. We can pick pulse, which is you know on and off versus a continuous suction. There's a vibration piece and a percent of that. And so again, a therapist or physio or even LymphaTouch itself might have prescribed someone a certain protocol to follow that you can use on a certain area. But when we talk about lymphatic drainage and lymphedema, we have program set here. They have pre and post operative down below, which is after an orthopedic issue, maybe scar tissue, but we have a lymphatic drainage route. And what it's nice is it's broken down into right arm, right leg, left leg, left arm, and head neck area. And so depending on what part of the body that we want to treat, we can just pick a protocol. So we're going to go right arm, and then they have a short program and a long program. The short programs are about 20 minutes. The long programs are about 30 to 40 minutes, depending on the part of the body. But when we click on one, so I'm gonna click short, it then breaks it down into either primary lymphedema or secondary lymphedema, which is really important as we've talked about in a lot of my other videos. Secondary lymphedema is typically when lymph nodes are removed or there's some sort of trauma to the lymph nodes or the lymphatics due to something like lymph node removal for cancer. Whereas primary lymphedema is more of a genetic condition, something that someone is born with. When secondary lymphedema comes up, it's just that localized area that had the surgery or the trauma that is compromised with the lymphatics. And so we do lymphatic drainage differently than we would with someone with primary. Primary can be a localized area, yes, but it can also be a generalized full body issue. And so we might do things a little different. So if we do secondary lymphedema, and we hit OK for the short program, it's going to bring up the routine. So I picked the shorter one, but if we look on the side here, it has a picture with blue circles of where we're going to be doing the treatment to start. And it will actually walk us through the treatment and the locations to be working on step by step. If I scroll down, you can see there's one out of 15 steps. We know exactly what's going on with the settings and what type of movement we're doing. And then we can fast forward to the next. It's going to go from the head and neck area to the abdomen and then to the armpit left armpit and then the chest wall and then just moving forward from side to side groin so it really walks through the same sequence that we do for lymphatic drainage and so this is really nice for someone to follow along with or even for a therapist to follow along with the settings are already set for us we just have to hit play and move along with it and so it's going i already fast forward a little bit through it but it will time it out for each section so i'm going to go back you can see you know, each area of the body, head, neck, same thing, short and long, they all will do the same, but they're gonna walk you through the sequence step-by-step -step for lymphatic drainage specifically. Now there are different types of techniques to use this tool with. When I'm using it, when you're thinking about lymphedema or the lymphatic system, because that's my specialty, I wanna think about two different things. I'm thinking about lymphatic drainage or manual lymphatic drainage, lymphatic drainage massage, that realm, trying to get the fluid moving up and out. And I'm also thinking about fibrosis or that thickened, adhered, scarred area, because that's gonna block the pathways too. We always wanna make sure that we're softening the tissue, but also trying to get the fluid moving out. And so we may combine or use different types of techniques. And so when using the tools, there are a couple different strokes or uses or techniques with this. One is just a stationary. So when we put it against the skin, it just turns on and you can see that it suctions and it's almost pulsating in place. Again, we can change the amount of pressure and that will be set for us on the protocols because we want to make sure that we're addressing the right thing. So another technique is just doing a slide. So when you think about lymphatic drainage or lymphatic drainage massage, which I have done a lot of videos on this, we're trying to guide the fluid out of a congested area to or through the lymph nodes in a certain area, but to a healthier part of the body. So what we can do with the same concept of moving in that direction, we could place a continuous pressure on this. Let me start it up and place it light and continuous. We can have it suction against the skin and then holding that suction, we can guide it 
all the way down. And so I know it's hard to see, but it's lifting my skin away and it's being suctioned the whole way down as I go. You can use a massage oil or some sort of um, cream or lotion with this. I'm sure you don't want something with a lot of chemicals because you don't want to wear this down, but that is an option to make it more comfortable for someone. I would do this in the same pattern that we would do lymphatic drainage. And again, the protocols are set for this already in the system, which is really nice. The last technique that we can use this with is a lift and twist. Now, this is what I would highly use it with for fibrosis or scar tissue. When we pick up the skin and the tissue, we, we can move that around. So I'm gonna turn this up a little to see a little bit better. So if we suction up the skin, you can see it lift, and then if I pull away, you can hear it, but then we can twist and move the tissue around. You can see that it will pick up and then we're mobilizing that tissue. So when we think about fibrosis, we're trying to soften it. So I always say you massage the tissue like you're kneading dough. We're trying to soften that thickened tissue, again, so to unclog the area, so fluid in the lymphatics can move through freely and help decongest the area. Using this tool saves the hands, but the same concept. We're trying to soften this tissue, move it around, mobilize it, so that can help decrease fibrosis. You can also use this on scar areas, so after someone has a surgery, making sure they're fully healed, but long after, making sure that any adhered scars, either from a cancer surgery or from a lymphedema surgery, that we can use probably the smaller one and really start to mobilize and soften the scars specifically. We also can use this even the small one and this one for cording or axillary cording. We talk a lot about that on my Instagram account as well as I have another video on this, but axillary cording is very common after breast surgery. And so this can help break down or not break down, but soften up the area where this cord is being bound down. And that's going to help relieve that cord. So if someone can get their motion back and have less pain. So again, the last technique is just to suction it up and then and being able to twist or mobilize the tissue, again, to soften fibrosis or scar tissue or any just adhered or thickened tissue. I think the nice thing about this tool is that it does save hands. So whether you are a therapist or a physio or you are a patient or someone living with lymphedema and you have to do a lot of manual lymphatic drainage or self cares for yourself or you're trying to break up fibrosis, it is a lot of wear and tear on the hands. And so something like this can really save the hands and you can use the tool to do a lot of that work. This tool is going to help move fluid like we talked about with lymphatic drainage, it's going to help soften fibrosis, soften scar tissue. All of that is going to be beneficial to help decrease pain, decrease swelling, and decrease discomfort. Now, yes, this tool is much more expensive than the tools that I talked about in the other video, but it is much more high tech. It's more of a medical device. A lot of therapists and locations may have this in their clinic versus someone having it at home. But I know a lot of individuals who have purchased for home because it does just make everything easier and more effective for them. So that's all I have to share about the LymphaTouch and how it's used with negative pressure and the benefits for lymphatic drainage, lymphatic flow, as well as fibrosis and scar tissue mobilization for lymphedema. If you have any other topics that you would like to see covered, feel free to comment those down below or any other products that you want to see um, or reviewed, you can comment those down below as well. And I will see you all next week for another video. Thanks everyone.